Today I'm going to go over all the tools that you need to make a sloper, which include pattern making supplies as well as the muslin and papers for this sloper. At the end of the video, I will show you the tools that you need for the taped sloper. Let's get started. You need a tightly woven muslin, at least three yards. You need AccuDot paper and or tracing paper. Tracing paper is wonderful because you can see through it. Dot paper is wonderful because you have one inch squares. Paper scissors, fabric scissors. You need a tracing wheel, pens, a tape measure, plastic one or cloth. You need rulers. I like this. This is 14 by 24 and it's great for making right angles. This is six by 24 inches. I like it because it has the diagonals and it has one inch squares. It's really, really good to use and you can also use it for right angles. So if you don't want to buy the L square, that will suffice. This see-through ruler is indispensable. Both sides are exactly the same. Be sure you get the one with both sides the same. This is two by 18 inches, and I use one that is one by 12 inches. This is good for seam allowance, a fashion ruler. Usually Dritz has them. It's great for armholes, measuring, etc. It's also good for hip curves. One of my favorites, a French curve. And my very, very favorite is the very form curve. This is 24 inches. It's wonderful for armholes, all kinds of curves, crotches. And I like the fair gate a lot because it's lightweight. Heavier ones become tiresome after a while. For film, I usually use markers now. It took me years to get used to that. But pencils are the best for making patterns because you want the lines to be very, very fine. And these are mechanical pencils. This is a professional mechanical pencil, so you need a sharpener to go with it. And this one just has leads. You need a red and a blue pencil. You can either get double-ended like this or one of each, or get markers that are red and blue. And you need a good eraser a seam ripper, tape. I usually use magic tape. You can also get removable tape, a needle and thread, preferably red thread. One of my very favorites is cover up or correction tape, quarter to three eighths inches fine. And you need oak tag or poster board. It's a stiff paper and it's more durable than normal paper and you can trace around it. If you're going to do the taped sloper method, you need painter's tape. I usually get two inch, one inch will do, and you need a contrasting color in one quarter inch. You need an old t-shirt you can cut up, preferably one with short sleeves and one that is not terribly tight, but snug to the body. If it's not long enough to cover the widest part of your body, take another t-shirt, cut it and attach it. And a bendy ruler. You don't need it right away, but when we get into pants, it will be very helpful. You can always use it to measure. This is where my zero is. And let's say I wanna measure, not only measure, but I want the actual shape of my armhole. I bend it, mark it, pick it up, and I have the shape in a different place to trace. See you next time.